So uh, I wanted to do a quick video on comparing using your web browser as your calendar versus the built-in Tesla app calendar. I've noticed with the built-in Tesla app that when you have uh, conference calls, like for Skype for Business, that it doesn't allow you to click through on any URLs that are in the actual app. So you end up having to dial in the PIN number. It's actually less safe on the road. So I've tried out, and this actually works for me today, is I've tried out using a Outlook Web Access inside the browser. And the interesting thing, thing that you'll notice is that uh, here I am looking at the app. I can look at day, week. I can go forward and backwards. One of the uh, things that people tend to mention about the built-in app is that you can't navigate days. On this, you can see day, week, month. You can see in the upper right-hand corner. But the great thing about it is you see that this box right over here, I was able to click on it, and now I can hit Join, right like that. And uh, if I click that correctly, let's see here. I'm filming right-handed and clicking left-handed, not exactly the most ambidextrous person in the world. Okay, finally got that thing to click uh, using my right hand. So what you'll notice is that it is joining the link or the Skype for Business um, conference call. And this doesn't, doesn't require you to dial in any further numbers because what will happen is it will join and it will actually dial you on your cell phone. So this sort of approach is a much better way, I think, of uh, looking at your calendar, navigating your calendar, updating your calendar. You can actually update your calendar from your uh, OWA web browser version and you can join uh, conference calls. So you can notice that this, I can actually sit here and say, call me on new number. And it will remember what my new number is. I'm not going to click that. And that number will be stored so that you can essentially have it call you back every time that it joins into this uh, Skype call. So there's a tip and trick for uh, comparing calendars that are built into Tesla that require the Sync app that doesn't work very well versus using your browser to look at your calendar, navigate, and launch meetings from. Uh, both are uh, decent, you know, as far as um, using in a mobile scenario in the car, but I think that uh, right now the Office 365 Outlook Web Access actually has it uh, a little bit of a lead. I would say at least three or four things that it can do uh, much easier, much better than the built-in app.